All right, so what we're going to try to do in this video is reverse the process that we did in the multiplying polynomials with the area model. So if you haven't watched that video, you should probably watch that one first because this will make more sense in what we're doing here. Okay. So we are going to divide x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 7x squared minus 2x plus 12 by x plus 3. Now, in order to do that, we think in terms of reversing this multiplication. And so we're going to put the x plus 3 this way in our area model. I'm going to create some space out this direction. Okay. Don't need to taper the lines together like I did. I probably would prefer that I didn't. Um, and the way this is going to start is we're going to look at this x to the fourth. And in the multiplication part, we would have gotten that by adding up the first diagonal on the left. Let's make that a 4. Let's fix that. So the x to the 4th is supposed to add up to x to the 4th here. And that was only the one square for that. So that works. But what that does for us is it tells us that if this part was x tall, and the area here is x to the fourth, then this would have had to have been an x cubed up here to make that happen. And once we know that that's an x cubed, then this is x cubed wide, and it's 3 tall. So this is 3x cubed. And we know that these two boxes on this diagonal are supposed to add up to, according to this equation up here, 6x cubed because that's the only place x cubed are going to show up. So if that's got to be a 6x cubed, then that means that this would have to be a 3x cubed here so that these two on this diagonal add up to 6x cubed. But if this is a 3x cubed in here and it's x tall according to this, then this must be 3x squared wide that direction. And once we know that that's 3x squared wide this way, and it's 3 tall, then that means this must be a 9x squared in there. But that means that these two things, according to what's in the equation up here, have to add up to a 7x squared. So this must have been a negative 2x squared to make that happen. And if that's a negative 2x squared, then that means this must have been a negative 2x to make that happen. Following this pattern then, if this is negative 2x wide and it is 3 units tall, then this is a minus 6x. And again, these two things on this diagonal, according to this, have to add up to the negative 2x. So that must have been a positive 4x in that spot. But if that's a positive 4x, then this must be a positive 4. And when we do the 4 times the 3, we get a 12 there. But that was supposed to add up to 12, and it does. And so... This is our answer to the division problem. This is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, so we got that problem done. We're going to take a look at another one now because that one worked out nice. There was no remainder at the end, but we know sometimes we end up with remainders for our division. Plus, we don't always, we're not always dividing by a nice little binomial. So we're going to divide this one by a quadratic trinomial. So we're going to put our x squared plus 3x plus 2 vertically in this direction. See if I can make my lines slightly straighter this time. A little bit better. And we start out the same way. We know that this is supposed to be x to the fourth in the first box. And if that's going to be an x to the fourth, then this would have had to have been an x squared. 
And so we can fill in the boxes below that, make a 3x cubed there, and a 2x squared there. And now we can look at our next piece. All right. And so now we know, go to some more boxes over here, that these two diagonals coming down through here have to add up to, those are our cubes, so those have to add up to 6x cubed. And there's 3x cubed there already, so this would have to be a 3x cubed there. But if that's going to be a 3x cubed, and this is an x squared over there, then that means this would have to be a 3x. And if that's a 3x, then this is a 9x squared, and this is a 6x. And we can come back through then, add another box here. We know that these things, our x squareds, are supposed to add up to 7x squared. And what we have there right now is 11, so that would have to be a minus 4x squared. 9 minus 4 is 5, plus 2 gives us a 7. And if that's a minus 4x squared, then this would have to be a minus 4. And if that is a minus 4, then this is a minus 12x. And this part is a minus 8. Okay, so we've arrived at an interesting place now where we are at a constant up here. This part is a constant, so anything that shows up now will be part of the remainder. We still need all of this diagonal according to this part to add up to negative 2x. Right now it's adding up to a negative 6x, so we need four more x's there to get us to the uh, negative 2x. And on this diagonal, we need those to add up to positive 12. It's at a negative 8 right now, so I'm going to have to have a positive 20 on there. 20 minus 8 will give me the 12. So I have a remainder of 4x plus 20. And my divisor, again, was x squared plus 3x plus 2. So my final answer to this problem, again, like it was on the previous problem, is sitting right here. We'll rewrite that as an x squared plus 3x minus 4 plus 4x plus 20 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. And that is how we do polynomial division with an area model.